Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and this is my second St. Valentine's project this year. By the way, I have a whole playlist with St. Valentine's tutorials and I will link it here at the eye icon. These earrings are really easy to make. They are like a beginner's level tutorial and they are made of 4mm bicons. You could use 3mm or bigger, whatever you have. And you could use round beads if you don't have bicons. So whatever you want to use. And I'm using seed beads. I'm sure that by the end of this tutorial you will be able to make them. So if you want to support me and make me do more videos, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button. Also, you could like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me with this. It's great support. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Now, I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so for this video what you're going to need are bicons that are 4 mm long and you could use 3 mm or bigger, it doesn't matter, it will still work. And um, you could use Forovsky or other brand or Czech crystals, whatever brand you like. And here I'm using seed beads. By the way, you could also use round beads if you want. I think it will work too, but it will look a little bit different. And I'm using here ear wires, lever packs, size O Nemo beading thread that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 in millimeters. You could use other beading thread you like. And I'm using scissors and this is size 10 beading needle. I find it easier with beading needle. I think for this one you could use regular needle as well because the holes of these beads are big. So now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and I have about half an arm span of thread and now I'm going to start by taking four of these beautiful clear bicons. Okay I have my four and I'm going to slide them down, stick my needle in my mat and here I want to make a knot. And I'm making a knot by making a loop and going with my tail thread through that loop I've made and I'm pulling. Then I will go through my next bicon, okay? And here what I want to take are seed beads. And I will add red seed beads all around my shape here. Okay, now I will exit out of one of my crystals and I will take three bicons. Okay, I have my tree here and I'm going back in circle through this bicon and this way I'm forming again the same shape like I had here from four beads but these two elements share a common bead. Okay, now I will flip because it's easier for me and what I want to do is add seed beads where I don't have seed beads. So here and then here. Okay, and now I want to go from this side. And here I also want to add three icons. Okay. Okay, I'm adding this and I will also add here 
reads 11 of C bits. And I'm going through this crystal here. Okay, and now I will go out of this bicycle. You see, this is the central shape of my heart. And here I'm adding one, two, and this will be the third shape I'm adding around my central shape. Okay? And I have, I'm exiting out of one by con, I'm adding three, and this makes an element of four beads. Okay. Then I'm reinforcing and adding red beads here. Around my circle. Okay, now I have this. If, if you want, you could go reinforcing these shapes more and more. If you want to make your heart look better. Okay, and now I'm exiting out of this bicon and I need three more. Okay, and... What I do is that I go back in circle through the same bicon. Okay, just like that. You see what I have here. Okay, then do the same thing at red C bits. Okay. Now I want to reach this side and I'm going around one more time through all of my beads here. And now I reach this bicon that I wanted to reach and I will take three bicons okay I have them making an element of four by going around in circle going back through this bicon one seed bit One more. Okay. Now, my heart is almost ready, but what I want to do additionally is go around the edges one more time and make it stay in a better shape, okay? Going through here, and then I'm going through all of my beads in this direction. Okay, now what I want to do is cut my tail thread here. And it comes the last part where I should add my ear wire, okay? And in order to add it, I want to reach one of those beads here. Let's say that I want to reach 
this bit here, this red bit. Okay. And now I will take one of my ear wires. I will add two seed beads. Okay, let's say three seed beads. Then I will add my ear wire, slide it, slide it down, and I will add two more seed beads. This is what I have. Three ear wire, two, and I'm going back in circle around all of those beads. And what I want to do is reinforce this part here. Okay, and reinforce it as many times as you can. Then what I want to do is go through some beads. Okay. Then you might want to make a knot. Okay, let's go here. Make a loop. Go once. Go second time through the loop you've made and pull. And you could repeat this several more times and when you're ready, cut your thread. Okay guys, and when I repeat all of those steps one more time, my earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new upcoming projects. And if you want to support me and make me do more and more tutorials, it's a good idea to like, share and comment. And I promise I'll answer to all of your questions in the comments. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.